Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Okay guys, so you know, I've, I've been very interested in lots of different hydrogen machines. I have a lot of them actually, and maybe I'll do a video about all the different ones that I have. Uh, but one thing that I've noticed about hydrogen machines, a lot of them, probably because they're made in China or Korea and whatnot, have reliability issues. And this is a really interesting thing because there have been few people who've contacted me who actually have broken their Lourdes's. And there are some things, it's not really a particularly difficult machine to use or even to treat correctly. However, there are a few things that you got to watch out for. I even went as far as contacting the company and asking them some questions. And I found out that their failure rate is incredibly low. It's way less than 1%. It's even, from what I understand, even less than half of uh, 1%. It's really, really low. They said that pretty much all the issues that they've ever had actually come down to user error. So people basically do things with the machines. They try to get creative and do things to them that they shouldn't. So today I'm just going to kind of share with you guys some of the things that I do or some of the things I think that you should watch out for. So that way your machine can stay reliable because if you treat the machine right, they're incredibly reliable and they will last a very long time. So let me just show you some of the different things to avoid. The first thing you wanna do is if you ever use up all the water in the pitcher, make sure to turn off the machine. Some people just continue to leave it on, they don't realize. Because as long as the panel says something like even here zero zero is the only way to really shut it off. I mean, if you hold down the button, you're gonna see that the panel will go completely out. That's the only way to know that it's completely out. So that's one little tip that I have. The other one is don't spill water all over the machine. It's not designed to have water here in the little crevices around the control panel. It's not designed to be sitting in a puddle of water. Even when you pour water in the reservoir, don't overfill it. That's another problem. If you overfill it, it'll spill all over. In fact, when you put water inside, make sure that it goes right inside the filter, not around here. It's not designed to do that either. If you spill it, you know, make sure to wipe it up. Do not put water in here when the filter's not in here. So don't try to pour water right down in there. The filter has to be in in order for it to work properly. Uh, what else? The little rubber plug in the back, make sure that always stays in there. Some people, by accident, you know, they take out the rubber plug or it kind of gets caught on something. And what happens is the unit ends up in a puddle of water and that can also cause damage. Uh, one of the other important ones that I've been hearing is do not set the unit on top of anything like a towel or anything really else for that matter. You really want it on top of just like a counter like this or like a table. Because it's if you notice, there's a little space underneath here and it's designed for the air to go underneath it, keep everything cool like all the electronics and well vented. One of the things that I personally do, I mean, yes, I put a towel in front of it, but I never set the unit on top of the towel because that's just, it will cause a lot of problems if the towel gets all wet and moisture goes up into the machine or again, keeps it from actually being properly ventilated. But the reason I like the towel in front is because when I grab a glass of water, for example, and I pour some of the water, the machine does drip and it drips because of the design. It's really quite ingenious, but basically this pitcher does sit in the water and that's because of the design and it's a really good way to do it, but it does drip. So if you have a little towel, it can drip on it. You can use a towel to wipe stuff up. If you spill a little on the machine, you can wipe it down immediately. And so I like to have in the towel in front, but that's about it. And that's probably most of the things. The other things I guess to stay on top of, um, make sure to stay really uh, on top of the citric acid cleanings. It's about the only maintenance you ever really need uh, besides changing the little filter every once in a while when the light comes on and tells you to do so, but they usually last a really long time. And that's about it, guys. I mean, beyond that, they're incredibly reliable. Um, I guess one other thing is, yeah, don't cover the whole unit. I guess some people literally will cover the whole unit, and I mean, it can get either moisture underneath or overheat because it's not breathing properly, things like that. So I would be cautious with that too. You know, really just try to use it as the manufacturer has suggested, just like the way you see it here. You just set it down on the counter and you just hit the button one time and... And that's it. It's it's pretty simple, pretty easy to use um, as long as you don't make any big mistakes. I guess the other one now that I think about it is picking up the unit and moving it around because there is water in there. And you again, you don't want it spilling water where it shouldn't be. So I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, as usual, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.